This is Miro UNC Pi Kappa Alpha. Hi, my name is Steve Nowicki. I'm the Dean and Vice Provost. I'm Richie. I'm Caroline. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. I'm Richie. And we're from UNC Best Buddy. Lene Belton, and I'm on the women's basketball team. My name is Phil Ford. My name is Tiana Horn. I'm the president of the Black Student Alliance at Duke University. And this is Ted. And I'm Ashley. And we're best, best buddies. buddies. Hi, I'm Lana Moon. Hey, what's up? I'm Joel Berry II okay. from the basketball team. Hi, I'm Cookies Mopletto, and I am the president of Duke Disability Alliance. We are the 2017 OLs. I'm trying to think there's a lot of reasons why I don't say it. I have a sister who has cerebral palsy, um, so it kind of hits home with my family, uh, but I just don't think it's a good word anyways. One thing that I will not tolerate is the R word. It's very bad. It, it hurts our feelings. There's no reason when friendships like this can evolve. It demeans the accomplishments, uh, the potential, and the value of a whole section of our population. Why would you? We are all human, we are all great, and we are all worthy, and that we frankly are always all in need perhaps of someone's help and support. I don't think it's right to put labels on people, especially labels that can be extremely hurtful. It's not cool to stereotype people before you meet them. I recognize your ability. They are worthy, and using the R word makes me feel like they're not. We choose to see the ability in disabilities. I don't think people should be reduced to a word. I have two autistic step-siblings, and I want to show them all the love they need and deserve. I think it's offensive. I believe it strips individuals of dignity. We believe in the ability of everyone. Because everyone deserves respect. I don't say the R word because I'm not Because it's hurtful. It's unnecessary. I have a sister with developmental disabilities, and every time somebody says the R word to her, I can see how much it affects her. Because it's 2017. Come on, people. We're better than that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's appropriate at all. Um, and I think that people put differences in the way, and there's really nothing different. Because it invalidates the experiences of those who live with disabilities. Um, first, because it's inappropriate. And uh, secondly, definitely because um, um, some people don't have the opportunities that um, that we have as athletes. And, uh, because everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so there's no reason to make people feel bad by using an adjective that implies an inherent deficiency in people. Because they're people also, just like we are. Because labels do matter. I think it's insensitive to real people um, with real lives and stories. Because I think it's disrespectful. Because it's the wrong word to say. Yeah. Hi, I'm Logan Byer and I'm the president of the Duke Special Olympics College Club. And some of my best friends have intellectual and developmental disabilities. They're athletes, basketball players, cheerleaders, swimmers, dancers, comedians, and motivators. But when you use the R word, you take all of that away from them. So spread the word to end the word. 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 I don't use the R word because people with special needs have been some of the nicest, friendliest, kindest people I've ever met. And you know what? When we think about these special Olympians, the truth is most of us can't keep up anyway. Go get them.